Good morning children. Today we shall learn about the shoot system. So what is the shoot system and what are its functions? Let us see. The part of the plant which grows above the soil is called the shoot. So here is the shoot which grows above the ground and the part of the plant which grows below the ground is called roots. So the roots grow below the ground and the shoot grows above the ground. Understood? The shoot system mainly consists of stem. So what is the importance of stem? As you can see in the picture, this is the stem and the stem holds the leaves, buds, flowers and the fruits. The roots absorb the water and the minerals from the soil and the stem acts as a pipeline and conducts the water and minerals to the other parts of the plant that is to the leaves and we know the leaves prepare the food. The food prepared is again conducted to the other parts of the plant through the stems. So the stem acts as a pipeline. And how does the stem acts as a pipeline? Let us see. Here we have cut a branch of tree with flower or you can say we take a small herb with a white flower. Now we place this branch in a beaker filled with water and as you can see the water is red in color this is due to the red ink drops added to the water if we leave this beaker overnight certain changes will take place and what are these let us see in the morning you will see there are certain red patches on the white flower even on the stem what happened? There are small tubes inside the stem which conduct the water which is the colored water here to the other parts of the plant and hence this white flower has red spots on it and same with the stem. So this is the way the stem conducts water and also the dissolved minerals in it to the other parts of the plant. Now you might be thinking how are the leaves arranged on the stem? Here observe the stem how it is holding the leaves. If you see the leaves are spread out to get enough sunlight and we all know the sunlight is required by the leaves to prepare food during the photosynthesis process. And how are the leaves attached to the stem? If we see, these are the nodes. These are the parts of the stem from which the leaves arise. And we call it node. See, here we have the node and here too there is a node. And this is the distance between two nodes and it is called internode. We also know that the stem holds the buds and the flowers. This is a bud. Now the question is, do all the buds blossom into flowers? The answer is no. Here, this is a bud which will blossom into flower. So, this is a floral bud. See, here is the bud which is present in the axil of leaf and the stem. So this is the axil and it is present at the axil of leaf and stem. Hence this bud is called axillary bud and it may change into a stem or into a leaf. Here there is a bud which grows on the topmost part of the stem and it is called terminal bud. You know terminal bud increases the height of the plant or the stem you can say specifically. 
what are the other uses of stem in certain plants the stem cutting can grow into another plant so stem cutting is the way by which plant multiplication takes place in certain plants like in the case of rose and hibiscus a stem cutting can grow into another plant so remember children what are the functions of stem we understood today first it holds the leaves and spreads them out to get sunlight secondly it also holds the buds flowers fruits etc the stem also acts as a pipeline and carries water and food to the other parts of the plants and lastly the stem also helps in the multiplication of plant through stem cuttings but only in few cases such as rose hibiscus etc you know apart from these the stem modified to perform special functions and what are these special functions we will have a look at them in the next class till then bye bye children